Alleged visa denier, Senator O.J. Carlo reveals why Tunubu's U.S. visit has been put on hold. Wow, we understand that last week the APC came out to say their principal uh, with his uh, 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 campaign team will want to travel abroad. Uh, they want to go to U.S., they want to go to U.K., they want to go to France and some other Europe nations to share their, their vision and ambition to those people and to solicit for their support. And we came out to say, let them tell us that the man wants to go and change oil, that he has been stressed up in this few rallies that he has attended and probably want to go for medical checkup, but they have not come out to say that. Now, Oji Zokalo is now coming out to say, uh, give reason why Tinubu's visit to U.S. is put on hold, meaning that travel is on hold. And there's a rumor that U.S. denied him visa. All right, you are denied him visa. Probably that's what uh, uh, let hear or what Ojizo Carlo is going to say going forward to tell us why uh, they are putting that U.S. trip on hold. Senator Ojizo Carlo had debunked rumors making the round that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, was denied a visa to the United States of America, describing the story as fake news in Facebook post on Saturday. The former Abia state governor said Tunubu postponed the travel himself and was never denied a visa. He, they will not say it. He said as the election draws closer, the opposition will spread more fake news against their presidential candidate and urged the party supporters to always ignore and keep their eyes on the ball. Mm. Oji Carlo claimed that the State Department of the U.S. confirmed to him that Tunubu will be received in the third week of December. He wrote, as the election draws closer, the opposition will spread more fake news against our presidential candidate, but we should always ignore and keep our eyes on the ball. The news that Tinubu was denied a visa to the USA is, a fake, is as fake as the other fake news. Hmm. Tinubu postponed the trip himself and was never denied a visa. The State Department of the U.S. confirmed to me that Tinubu will be received in the third week of December as the presidential candidate of our party with an outstanding personality. He will be warmly welcomed in the United States. Um, um, okay. The APC Presidential Candidate Council, Campaign Council, the APC Presidential Campaign Council had in a statement last week said that Tinubu will embark on foreign trips from December 4th to December 12th uh, to meet global leaders and pitch his presidential aspiration. All right? In the statement posted on his Twitter handle, the campaign council disclosed that Tinubu and his delegation will be in London, USA, France, and key European Union member states to share his vision and plans and to also solicit uh, the support of the Western powers for the democratic process that will usher in the new administration in Nigeria for May 20, 29, 2023. It also stated that while in London, Tinubu will address the Chatham House, the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom Allied Foreign and Policy Think Tank Institution, where he will speak on security, economy, and foreign policy on Monday, December 5, 2022. <laughs> So the Tinubu that refused to attend ordinary debate in Nigeria is going to talk to people in the Chatham House. Can he stand it? Somebody that's already making gaffes in all of his political outings is going to discuss with Chatham House and to discuss with elites. Are you sure? Are we sure these good people are not posting us? Because everything about this about this APC is fake and always lies and the ways of uh, you know um, 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 carrying carrying information to deceive the populace. Now, oh, wow. Right? So, in their Twitter hand, they wrote Tinubu to embark on foreign trip, speaks on security economy at Chatham House. He, now, oh, wow. I just hope that this man has delivered to talk in the Chatham House. So, what I'm saying here is that USA did not deny Tinubu visa. Uh, it was Tinubu that actually backed down. And the uh, USA said they are ready to receive him in the third, uh, third week of December. All right. And then prior to that, 
he will go to UK, go to France and some other European uh, member nations to discuss the issue and their vision and their mission for Nigeria in 2023. And adding that they will go to London and when they get to London, they go to Chatham House to discuss with elite on issues bordering security, economy, and the rest of them. Ha! Are you sure this person that that cannot make a coherent statement that loses memory momentarily uh, once in a while or that is struggling to remember things, pronounce things very well, is this person going to talk with elites? Ah, now wow. Do they think that those people are sacrifices that you just talk, they clap hand without asking questions? Can, if Tinubu cannot attend a um, presidential debate in Nigeria where he is expected to field some questions, is he going to accept questions or is he going to be able to respond to questions that will come from Chatham House? Why are these people lying like this to us? Eh? They are just deceiving us up and down. Eh? Oji Kalo that was in PDP and then moved to APC that had even a court case and was jailed. He was given a pardon and pulled out of jail. I don't know how this Nigeria will continue like this. He's now talking, this is the kind of category of people that APC will have. People that lie a lot, people that do not say the truth, people that will deceive people. That is what they will do. It's okay. Let me see a few comments that people have here. Um, let's see what they have uh, uh, to, to tell us in terms of their ideas their views on this uh, Ojiz Okalo comment on Atiku. Somebody saying, I don't know how some Nigerians think these days. Same Tinubu that is alleged to be a drug baron and wanted in the U.S. will be denied visa. Wouldn't that have been an opportunity for the Americans to apprehend uh, the wanted Tinubu if actually he is on their wanted list for drug trafficking? Wow, so this person must be APC. So, so he's saying, if but the U.S. has not declared him wanted anyway. We have not had a U.S. have put him in a wanted list. All right. We are just saying that he has a case um, that is probably unresolved or even though he fully resolved but convicted in the U.S. or was for some reason associated with some drug cases in the U.S. All right. U.S. Uh, we have not seen any publication that says U.S. has placed Tinubu on a wanted list and wanted him in the U.S. at all costs for charges to be for him to be prosecuted. No, nobody has seen that. Somebody is saying warped reasoning by sons and daughters of hate and bitterness. Can you imagine? All right. So another person is saying, um, who said he's wanted? Stop adding to grandpa's issues. The news said he is involved in drug cases and he had to forfeit millions of dollars. That is about 460,000 uh, US dollars to die the case, right? Law, once a drug dealer, always a drug dealer. That is what it is. He has always been that. Even though he's trying to clean up now, but he's too dirty to clean. They say that they clean dog nose when you don't black. Opponents declared the US visa ban on Tinubu could not travel as scheduled today. APC says Tinubu had already left Nigeria for US. The reason he did not attend the debate. Can you imagine? Carlos says he voluntarily postponed the journey and he is in Nigeria now. Please, APC, clear the air which one is true, opponents, Carlo, or the party. <laughs> they are confused people. They don't have anything to tell Nigeria. Tinubu is always afraid of any debate because he will not know what to say. And that is true. That is true. That is true. Idiot Luther protecting co Luther King. Yes. They are, they, are, they, are, they are the same kind of person. Why can't you mention your name and tell me, uh, tell you how criminals are your parents? Ill <laughs> Nigerians. They can only say something uh, every time. So, Carlo is Tinubu's spokesperson on Visa Matters. Next page. <laughs> so, that is what is happening here. Uh, Tinubu is saying he, they did not deny him visa. Carlo is saying they did not deny Tinubu visa. He voluntarily just stopped the journey and now going to head. To you to UK and to Europe. And in UK he will discuss with elites in the Chatham House. Hmm. Fabu. This are, this one are Fabu. Alright, thank you for listening and let's have your comments below.